What is up, YouTube? It's uh, Grim Dogs here. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be playing some Oxygen Not Included on the Rocketry upgrade. Uh, there is an upgrade coming in about two weeks, four days. And I'm hoping to do so, some little Let's Play for you. And uh, just in time for that upgrade. And we'll do a Let's Play on that. So uh, it's a game I've been playing a little bit. Um, really enjoy it I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and I mean uh, as you can see I've been playing a little bit and I'm gonna create a new new game and kind of go over the, the stuff with you guys and that and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it so if you uh, enjoy watching me play this and uh, would like to continue watching please make sure you hit the, the thumbs up and uh, subscribe and I'll keep posting the videos. So anyway, here we go. We're new game, survival, start game. <clears throat> you can see we got a uh, little uh, duplicates here. Uh, you get. To Two's three right off the start. Uh, you can shuffle them around a little bit. There's certain traits and that you kind of want to avoid. Uh, loud sleeper. I mean, they're not too bad as long as you have them in their own room, away from the other dupes. They'll wake them up and and uh, irritate them. Uh, have their their morale go down and can be a pain sometimes uh, flatulent they fart and cause uh, gas in the, in the uh, in the base and can be overwhelming if you get a lot of them a narcoleptic uh, another one uh, they'll fall asleep obviously uh, Bottomless stomach. You can, this is one you'd kind of want to avoid. They eat a lot. It's a quick a quick learner is really good. Uh, you got germ resistant, iron gut, uh, another loud sleeper, squeamish, can't perform care. Uh, this one's all right if you have others that can care. Uh, yokels, uh, another one kind of like the other one that they can't do research, uh, stuff like that. I try to go with uh, sons with quick learning and stuff like that. It's, it makes it nice. Uh, Bob, that increases their strength. Uh, gastrophobia, they can't cook. I think we already talked about that one. Yokel research. Mole hands uh, increases their digging. Uh, gourmet increases their cooking but lowers their food benefit. That they get pacifists, they can't do combat with uh, some of the creatures that are around. Irritable bowel means they uh, take a little more time using the bathroom. That one's not so bad. Uh, you got to dig. Let's see if we can find a uncultured. That one's good. It, uh, they their decor benefit is increased, but they they can't do the errant art. So, if you need somebody to do art, it makes it hard. Uh, having art around helps increase the morale of the, the, the dupes. Slow learner, they learn slowly, but diver's lungs is a good one. Uh, they consume less air. Uh, that one might not be so bad. Kind of want a quick learner with research, makes it real nice. Uh, get that research done real quick but uh, mouth breather is a bad one let's see what else is there night owl uh, they get uh, trait bonuses for working at night uh, which can be nice at times uh, well, what other ones were there simple taste they get a food benefit for f eating food uh, towards uh, worse foods, they it's not so bad for them, stuff like that. Uh, 
Nine owl, small bladder. I already talked about that one. Biohazards, they get a, a small immunity regen, a negative on the immunity there. Um, this one's not so bad. I'm probably going to go with these. And Oh! Dang! Just like that. And that's how you uh, accidentally back out of a world. <laughs> After you had some dupes picked. Whoops. Anyway. So, yeah, we're hoping to get some, like I said, uh, get to the next upgrade, put some out, some videos out for you guys before that comes and see how far we can get before then. And then when the new, new uh, upgrade comes out, probably start a new colony. So, And, that. and then you got interest here. Uh, they just apply to certain jobs like supply, research, operate, build, dig, art. Um, normally, it gives them a little bonus uh, when they do it. So let's see if we can find a, a cook and a. Re I like to, I like to have a cook, a researcher, and uh, somebody that can build. I mean, they can all learn it as long as they don't have. Uh, negatives to, to it so really not too bad it's the traits you kind of want to avoid yeah uh, interior decorators it, it gives them a bonus on creativity but they get a negative on decor like if it's poor decorations they, they get a severe uh, morale penalty on it. It's it, that one's kind of one you might want to avoid as well. We'll take these three right here. Don't have no. We need a cook. Let's see if we can find a cook. There we go. We got a cook. Oh, and name the colony here. Uh, let's see. Clone hospital. <laughs> uh, clone tunnel. All right. Luxury. Sh the luxury shelter. I like that. There we go. Anyway, as you see, you can start here. Uh, one of the first things that's good to do is uh, pause the game, take a look around, see what you have. As you can see, we got a water here and some water here. Looks like some water up here. And we got a lot of harvestable plants that are easily accessible. Uh, and those will be good for getting food and other things that you need. Uh, you got some shine bugs. Um, now, as you can see, one of the first things you need to get is a, you need toilets. If you looking on them their bladder is eight percent eventually it fill up and usually you want to have a toilet made by the f end of the first cycle or they'll wind up peeing on the ground and it lowers the morale and causes uh, disease uh, which you can see through the disease panel which is F9 uh, you got food poisoning slime lung uh, germ holes germ sources um, I don't know if you should be able to see yeah, right here. Here's some slime lung right here. You can when you dig into it They can get it that can be uh, Quite nasty if not uh, figured out how to deal with there's a lot of other things in the game that you have you got Your features down here dig disinfect. This is a lot of your buildable stuff that you got to have resources for and that Can uh, get interesting, but we're going to start off by uh doing a little digging um, like to put a bathroom down off in a dead-end hallway but one of the first things we're gonna need is a water source to get in it and so we are gonna want to get some water then get a bathroom set up so that will be quite essential so we'll let them do that. Another good thing to do is you can speed up time, slow down time, you can pause it. Uh, it be, would be beneficial, especially for newer players who are playing the game, to keep it on a slower speed until they get used to the game. 
Um, I think it really helps them. And yeah, we put a door right there. And then let's put a ladder here. We're going to want to dig up to there. course dig over and this sand uh, you got to watch this when you dig out from underneath the sand that sand will fall and could cause problems so you just got to be careful when you're digging uh, sometimes and we got some idle dupes here so we'll kind of send them down the other way digging until then uh, as you see as we're collecting resources some of the stuff's unlocking like a wire and plumbing uh, now this is what you need for the the bathroom um, to supply water for your bathroom uh, will be needed oh I don't have enough there we go to dig up for them to get to that that could have been bad <clears throat> oh I guess let's put the bathroom there Continue digging all the way to the end. As you can see, oh, certain blocks you can't dig right away. It says Colony Lacks Apprentice Miner. Eventually, we'll get a. We can assign jobs. We can get priorities for it right now and kind of get them going on that that way. But uh, for them to be able to mine like this and dig it out, you need to assign them jobs, which we get through. Uh, a race research station we have to do a little bit of research which can be quite beneficial like I said and what I thought oh they did put that door there okay now one of the first things you want to do is when you build an outhouse you're definitely gonna want a sink which you can find in the medicine tab uh, so they wash your hands when they come out um, and it's always good to uh, get that sink made and filled with water before the outhouse is built. So they have a place to wash their hands. Come on. As you can see, the the more they learn and train, they uh, they'll get faster at digging and and all that good to do. So we can set the direction left, right, both. I'm gonna set it left so when they exit the bathroom, they'll be washing their hands. Um, another good thing to do is uh, for your food. I always you know click all and then turn up the priority on it a little bit so they'll auto collect the food and put it in the storage um, it's very beneficial as you can see they're having a hard time breathing there's some carbon dioxide over here uh, one of the good ways to avoid that is a co2 pit like you dig down and make a big open area at the bottom of the base for the all that co2 to fall a lot, some of that is caused by uh, just from the dupes breathing. They'll uh, they'll get it. Um, let's go ahead and make a couple, a couple more wash basins and a couple more outhouses. Mm, they'll get these when they can actually dig it. Um, for now. Uh, the, the reason I do bathrooms like this is under the room overlay 
uh, you get bonuses for certain rooms and as you can see uh, like the there's a washroom you need a flush toilet a plumbed wash station um, and then there's a latrine which all you need is the outhouses for and a wash station and it's got to be a room and they can be a minimum of 12 tiles to a maximum of 64 uh, so I try to maximize the rooms as much as possible it helps with uh, bathroom space so the dupes have a place to go uh, let's set the priority in these up a little bit so they'll go get water obviously they're not going to be able to build that one so and then next thing is they're going to need is a place to sleep so let's go ahead and build some cots we'll do it right here for now and then we're definitely going to want to finish off our room because as of right now they oops uh, I like to go four tiles high with the rooms so makes it nice and then like with the bathrooms I like to also open them have them open the doors so they stay open so they don't waste time running in and out uh, there's another thing that helps uh, avoid time when they're running back and forth having to wait for the door to open and then go through and then some doors you don't want to do that too because it could let in uh, germs and and other contaminants like if you look over here now if I bring up the germ mobile area, it's slime lung is everywhere um, there's a lot of good ways to avoid that when you start digging into it um, you just got to do it a little bit at a time and take your time uh, so as a end of the first cycle here we're uh, doing all right we got some bathrooms set up we got some cots set up for them so I consider that a success that is uh, cycle one complete and good to go uh, the next thing we're gonna definitely want to get is a research station so we can get the job support um, I will probably put that oh yeah over here maybe somewhere but the first thing we're gonna need for that is some power so maybe I will yeah build up now some of the ways I like to build is um, some of your power sources uh, give off heat whoops give off if you look at it they produce heat uh, when they're running right here the heat uh, 125 and that has a tendency to heat up your base and if you're trying to grow things like plants in that for food it some foods require to be a certain temperature like the meal wood here uh, has to be between 50 and 86 degrees uh, Fahrenheit um, and if it gets too hot from some of the machines those plants won't grow so I like to put some of the powered machines that cause heat towards top and then my plants kind of down here towards the bottom and then <laughs> it helps with the the stuff for it now I'm just gonna go ahead and dig these two out and that I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then do that and then 
I'll do that for now. I'll take that right down to here. Now power. So right now I'm going to put up just some uh, basic power for now until I can get the guys a little more further leveled. And uh, we're going to want to put some tiles down to... Oh. I, I done oofed that right up, didn't I? Wow. That was... Terrible, terrible goof. Uh, we're gonna want tiles because we can run the power lines through the tiles and to hide the, cause they get a, a negative decor value on, on some of them and hiding it through the tiles uh, helps minimize it. Put up some tiny batteries here. Run some wire to it. And then we're going to need the resta research station. Which I'm probably going to put... Sure, why not? We'll put it right here for now. We can move it later if we need to. And... We'll go to it. Now that's another good thing to do is uh, pause it and think about what you're gonna do. That way you're not wasting time. You don't have dupes sitting around being idle and and going on from there. So I'm gonna let them continue this and hopefully we can get through it th before the end of the day. It is a lot of work. Uh, now these guys they drop the stuff on the floor and you're gonna want to build some storage for that um, I'm gonna put up some temporary storage uh, right down here uh, for now and then you can get them to sweep that up it takes time sometimes and and can be a pain but uh, Keeping it picked up helps improve their morale in like the bedrooms and st stuff like that, and the wash stations. Um, it it really helps their morale. Uh, causes some severe penalties on some of their jobs and stuff like that. Stress is another one that's uh, can cause conflict. Uh, once they get stressed out, they have a, sometimes they have a, uh, what is it, a, uh, under their traits, uh, like this one here, uh, when they get stressed out, they'll vomit. You got some that are destructive, some that are, uh, yeah, destructive here, they'll, they'll actually destroy stuff so I mean that's kind of one you want to avoid if you can't manage the stress uh, it can be a pain um, then I already look at Ren here uh, he's a vomiter cranky what about Bert Bert's a binge eater that's another dangerous one uh, when they get stressed out they'll just eat tons of food So I got a couple negative ones, but you know, it, it all works out. Uh, now every so many cycles you get a chance to receive a new duplicate through the, this printing pod right here. Um, and that to uh, introduce new dupes. Now uh, you gotta remember one thing when you're bringing in new dupes you're gonna want to you gotta have the food ability capabilities to be able to food the, feed these guys at the same time so it's it kind of a put win-win push-push you, you know you do this you take on too many dupes and you don't have the ability to feed them they're going to starve um, 
Now, right here is one of the, the things I was talking about research. Uh, to get the job board, you got to do it, the advanced research. So we're going to start off doing that right away. Get that done and out of the way. And uh, we're going to want to sign somebody to do the research, which I can't remember who was the research guy. Run. Learning. No. Bert. Skills. No. C cook. Run. One of them had re. Ah, oh, Run did. Yeah. Awesome. Run did. So, Run, we're going to up his priority to get him to do the researching. Um, mostly. As you can see, Frankie's doing it right now. Um, I kind of want to disable these two for now to just get Ren to focus on it. Now, for the storage, there's, you know, certain things that you definitely really want to get picked up. Like uh, the raw metals, uh, they have these little creatures. Like, well, you got these shine bugs. They're called hatches. If you have anything on the ground, they will come through and eat it and then poop out coal. So there's certain things you want to keep picked up, like the raw metals, stuff like that, uh, that are essential. Algae, some coal, uh, can be essential coal, uh, the copper, the stuff like that you want to keep up. So as of right now, I'm going to click on the raw metals. I haven't got any coal yet. Uh, algae and I'm gonna set that to a priority of seven and they should automatically pick it up now these ones I'm gonna set pretty much everything else for now for them to just pick up but that's gonna be set to a sweep only so as I as I designate it they'll sweep it up and put it away and, and all that good stuff Algae's going in that one for now. Raw metal, raw minerals we want. Seeds we're definitely going to want. And I'm going to just leave that as a priority five. And then I'm going to copy the settings and apply it to that one. Oop. And now if I, let's say if we got this stuff here in the bedroom here. If I click on sweep and let's say I tell them to sweep this stuff up. They'll sweep that stuff up and put it in the storage. <laughs> Just like that. And that's what we want. But there is some harvestable stuff in here. There's certain things that you'll be able to harvest continuously, and then there's certain things that you can't. Like this muckroot. This is a very good food item right off the beginning. So. Uh, we'll want to get access to these areas to get them eventually but I like to go through and just automatically dig these ones up to get them out of the way so that way when they come into the area they'll automatically do it and then I like to also set the other ones that are not as on harvest that I don't dig up the ones I want them to sit there and harvest. We'll harvest them. Now these these I like to try and keep around as long as possible. As long as possible to uh, keep them going. Uh, to apply more food until I can get a growing station up and all that other to do now Let's build a ladder down. Whoops oh, no. Build a ladder down so they can get access to this and pick these and get them all good to go and grown and pour. No, the other thing I'm thinking too is once they're done with that I can thinking about putting 
something here. Probably store. I might put storage up here. Maybe a bedroom. I don't know. I might put the bedroom on the other side. I haven't quite decided yet. But first up, we got to use this water up. We'll get there. Um. We also are going to need uh, a food source, and for that they have this what's this microbe musher, and this also requires power, which I'm just going to put that right there right now. And as you can see, I don't have a tile underneath this side of it, so it's an inbuilt building location. So you got to make sure you have the tiles set there. Um, these little blocks are here, oxalate. These actually emit oxygen into the areas that the dupes are breathing in and over time they will clear out so you got to keep an eye on that uh, for them as you see they will run off and use the bathroom uh, when need be I do like to set the bathrooms to a little bit higher of a priority that way when they fill them they'll come through and empty them now eventually we're gonna need to find a spot to put all the polluted they create polluted waste on like at the sinks and in the outhouses uh, they'll drop uh, polluted dirt now you don't want that polluted dirt getting mixed in with your normal dirt because it's got germs and all that so that is one thing you want to try and avoid I believe it's an organic I believe if I remember right and every when they clean the toilets out that'll pop up in there so you want to try to avoid that uh, now I can set this other one is that one as well now at the end of day two we have our research station going so a little bit of power they're working on the my uh, the food source uh, we're gonna be digging down to this other food source and right here's where your food is you start out with a, a little bit of food in this ration box when you start and you're starting a little area but it doesn't last very long so you need to get on top of m making food having somebody make the food is essential uh, for s survival getting your colonists to survive um, and after cycle three um, I'm going to have to end the episode here and hopefully you guys enjoyed what you've seen and continue to watch. Uh, please uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to continue to see more and I will continue to put these out because this is one of the games I have really been enjoying at the time and I Hope to see I'm hope to see you guys uh, liking the videos so hopefully we'll see um, it would really help and all that so as you can see they continue to sweep up so uh, I'll probably let it run and to get a lot of this stuff cleaned up and we will see you next time take care bye